What is good, Fin Nation? What's good? It's your boy Reason, and we are back here for another one. Joined by the homie Martin, and tonight we got a special one for you. We got about twenty clips. We're gonna disprove a lot of the media's narratives with some all twenty-two. Break it down for you. Show y'all what's good right here on the original to a Tuesday, Martin. I know it's all of a sudden everyone's doing two a days, bro, or two a Tuesdays, bro. Like. <laughs> Welcome to the original. We've been doing it since he was drafted. All right, two like, two, two, two years too late. Yeah, I know. Hey, eh? what's going hey, on, man? How you feeling? Hey, nah, man. I'm just still here. Just you know, jaw drop. Hey, man, your intro's fire, bro. <laughs> the, yeah. the intro's fire, bro. It never gets old, man. Lo- love it, man. But yeah, here we go. Here we go, man. Let Let's go ahead. You know, there, there's been a lot of You know, talking heads, you would say a lot of people that, you know, have things to say about not only the Miami Dolphins, but more specifically Tua Tunga Vailoa, his play. Um, Is it him or is it the product of his environment? Okay, um, we hear you, um, but let's see. Let's see, right? So, yeah, because what what we basically said out here is, as you guys know, um, there there's some main narratives here. One of them being he, to has a weak arm. You know, you see, you've heard the other ones. He relies on yards after after the catch. Can't throw deep. Can't throw guys open. And of course, the worst one of them all that he's a one read quarterback. And people have even gone on record saying that they think he fakes his progressions. If you've ever said that in your life, you probably don't know how to evaluate the quarterback position and probably should stop evaluating the quarterback position if you're out here assuming people go out uh, go out here and fake their progressions. Why would you keep your head on the swivel, keep your eyes looking at the progressions just to fake them? That makes absolutely no sense. That is one of the worst takes I've ever heard in my life, not even just on Tua, in the evaluation process at all. It's time people just admit they don't know what, how to evaluate they've never evaluated players before and they need to stop and some of these narratives are tied into that so we're gonna we're, we're just gonna go ham on these narratives because they're just some of them are just absolutely brutal and, and go ahead and, and, yeah and i'm not gonna lie i mean as far as the quarterback um progression is concerned to to assume someone's faking that? that's the most I, ridiculous I, thing I, i've ever heard in my life i, never, I mean like that's how yeah. I know people don't know how to evaluate players. You actually say that kind of stupid stuff, bro. For for a quarterback to pretend like he's reading a defense is the equivalent of you know answering your phone when nobody's on the other line just to say, "Hey, yeah, I'm I'm on the phone right. Now. <laughs> I'm on the phone right now. I can't talk to you." It's like that that's the equivalent of when a quarterback that it's like it, it, no, no quarterback does that. You, you have yeah, to, it, you have to have like, some. If you think about it, you know, you know, like if you're keeping your head on the swivel, you're gonna see the progressions. So, right? How are, how are you faking the progressions, bro? Like it's just like when I see <sighs> stuff, I'm like, it's just, you're gonna even if you're just keeping your head on a swivel, trying swivel, trying to fake, you're gonna see progressions. It might not mm. be in the order as the play intended. But you're going to see progressions, bro. Mm -hmm. That's what's hilarious Mm -hmm. about it to me. It's like you can't escape it if you're looking downfield. And to to hear somebody even say that, assume that someone would fake their progressions, there's no way you would be a third-year starter in the NFL if you were faking it. 
coaches would have caught that right away, bro. Well, what are we talking about right now? This is just and and I've never even heard that someone tried to label any quarterback that. When I heard that, I was like, this is the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. Like this is yeah. like, like this is yeah. the dumbest football takes I've ever heard. But but it, but again, like. Uh, Long yeah, story short, man. Get, yo, Martin always tries to look for the best, and even he can't. Even he can't explain <laughs> this one because that's a new level of stupid we've just uncovered. Holy! It's it's tough. It's tough to watch, man. It's it's tough to watch and listen, you know. Oh. But now now we're here, it's man. We 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 we've gotten to this point. Um, we we're 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 going into the last stretch, and and there's a things there's a couple things that just needs to be addressed, and it needs to be addressed. You know clearly, and now you have reason, and you know let let's 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 add logic in there too. You know you know what I mean. Let, let's go ahead and make it. We ain't talking about oh. a, we ain't talking about a mixed rapper. We're talking about logic, <laughs> either. Yeah, man, I just uh, yeah, I just uh, I don't know. New 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 levels, man. New levels, and they're just not positive. It's just man. See that's the problem. Saying, that's the problem with all these social media outlets. You can find a lot of people who know what they're talking about. But on mm-hmm. the flip side, you're going to find a lot more people who don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> and, hey. and, and that's yeah. and that's the and that's the problem, man. So that that like like, uh, you know? like our boy our boy Nas said, man, our the, the main man, man, QB Queens Bridge. New new levels, new devils, man. That that's a reality. That's a reality. That the higher you go, Yo, you heard that the King more you're going to man. I, I my my homeboy was sliding me some of those uh some of those songs. I was listening to it, you, hear that you know, sporadically. Track? But that thirty it's track, hard. ooh, it talks about been doing hey. thirty summers, banging, bro. Him and Hip Boy uh, or something. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, man. Um, you ready to get into this? Uh, off rip, man. Off rip. All right, we're gonna get into this. Um, we got oh, some fancy graphics in there. We got about uh twelve minutes worth of film. Let's get into this. Let's start breaking this down for all of y'all. It's time to discredit some of those terrible, terrible narratives out there. By the way, <laughs> smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new. We are like 15 away from 10,000. And then I will be doing a giveaway at 10K. So smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new. All right, let's get into this. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, let's go. All right, you see it right there. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, well, we're going to get into this, you know, narratives to is killing as a passer. And you see all the faces of all those media members that just they look they look so disappointed in themselves. And now we're about to show why they should be disappointed in themselves. So we got a lot to get into here because we've heard a lot of bad takes. I mean, even Shannon Sharp had to make this graphic because even he's flipped on the kid. Now he's trying to come back. And sorry, one of the sorry, main Shane. ones main the, one of the main ones we hear, Martin, is mm-hmm. about Tua has a weak arm. Mm-hmm. Right? And mm-hmm. I mean, coming out of Alabama, we all knew what the deal was. He had more than enough zip on the short to intermediate throws. He even mm-hmm. had more, you know, he had more zip on the downfield throws than he did in the first few years this year. You could see now when, when if, if he's under throwing, it's more on touch than it is arm. And mm-hmm. we got some, we got, we got about what five clips here to show people the, the narrative that Tua has a weak arm is just uneducated it, and lazy. Um, Brandon says the main narrative he can't stand is when they say Tua is another golfer, Jimmy G, when he leads the league in damn near every passing stat. Brother, go watch, <laughs> go watch my show from Saturday night. And anyone who calls you G, calls him Jimmy G, that show will show you exactly why. Whoever said that is lazy. I've been telling y'all, you got to look at Matt Ryan, 2016, mm-hmm. Atlanta mm-hmm. Falcons MVP season. And then when you go put up to his projected stats over a season compared to Matt Ryan's, they're damn near identical. So anyone who mm-hmm. says Jimmy G don't know what they're talking about. But Martin, the weak arm is just such a lazy – I think it's such such a lazy narrative hey. now. Yeah, the the re- the reason why the take was e- it even caught traction was because people just decided to ignore that Tua was coming off of a potential career-ending hip injury, and yeah. just like how you know, like you, you say it all the time, reason your feet are tied to everything all the way up through the the your fingertips when it comes yeah. to throwing the football the kinetic and chain, the, the the kinetic chain. 
And in Tua's case, his hip is clearly where you, he gets most of his explosion, right? And you look back at Alabama prior to the hip injury, you know, pe- people can still look at him and say, well, his arm isn't just completely exposed. But be- before the hip injury, the ball flew off of Tua's hand every time he cocked back and threw the football. And it just took a while for him to get back into that comfortability. So as far as Tua has a weak arm, yeah, they can keep saying it, but the film we're about to see, it, it, it just it just shows another another story. So, hey. Yeah, it shows, it shows a, a much different story. And, and, like, you know, we were talking about before we went live, you know, the problem is, you know, mm-hmm. these guys got a bunch of interns doing a lot of the work for them. They're not actually uh-huh. sitting there watching the film themselves. And, Mm -hmm. you know, you can tell when these guys aren't watching the film to when they are um, because it's clear they cherry pick. Right. Mm -hmm. And, Mm -hmm. you know, one of the things I hate is, you know, I hate the whole noodle arm thing, you know, and I see someone in the chat bringing up how their 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 dad still mentions noodle arm. I hate that whole noodle arm thing. I think it's lazy, too. And you know what? I think you want to talk about noodle arm. Go talk about like. Chad Pennington, but even with a noodle arm, look what Chad mm. Pennington could do true, because of true. his accuracy and his efficiency, right? Anyways, let's get true. into this. Let's start off. We'll start off. We'll kill this narrative first. Well, Tua will kill it with his own, you know, his own film here. So we got Dolphins and 21 personnel, two receivers to the left, two in the gun. Mostert is to his right. Ravens show quarters, but are going to transition into cover six, four, two post snap. You're going to see Ingold motion here, and two is going to drive the football so well to hit Waddle on this deep dig. Look at the drive on that football. Mm-hmm. I mean, that right there. Look at what do we always talk about, Martin? When he steps through and when he drives the football, you get it that flies out of his hand. You get that mm-hmm. exactly. So mm-hmm. go ahead, Martin. I mean, look at this. Yeah, this this throw at the God view is just quintessential arm strength. And, and come on, man, the, the ball literally sped its way into that into that vacancy in the defense and to a new he had to put some some mustard on that football and he did and he did it relatively effortlessly with with uh pressure pretty much bearing bearing on his blind side but it, it i mean come on man it, it, it play it, and play just play one more time for the for the family and for the friends because right right when you see something like that at that area i mean come on people that that is that is arm strength if you ever seen it in the NFL when it comes to just straight shot on target uh, and, and it, it covered ground quickly, you know, yeah. that's Armstrong. And look at how tight that spiral was. Yeah. That thing yeah. was just, like missile. you said, it just sped Guided out of missile. his hands, right? It just mm-hmm. sped to the receiver. I like that wording. And mm-hmm. that was a big first down throw too. That was, all mm-hmm. the third, that was a third down throw right there. Um, mm-hmm. Okay. So we now we got Dolphins and 11 personnel. Two in the gun. Edmonds to his right. Two receivers stacked to the right, one split to the left. Ravens show cover three. You're going to see Wilson motion to the left, and Tua is going to look him off in the flats quick, and he's going to sling it to Waddle on that slant right there. Boom! That's and, an you know, That was right in between that triangle coverage. If we go, if I, yeah. if I bring that back, that's. I'm glad you saw it because I was about to bring it up. Yeah, and this is all on mm-hmm. Waddle. Waddle's got to make this catch. We're showing incompletions mm-hmm. because even incompletions prove our point. Look, right you got to use all completions. Look at that. Now, right in the, between the triangle coverage. Do you know how hard of a throw that is? There, there, there is the, – the, re, the reason why this is this is a debunker of a weak arm, you just mentioned it, a uh, uh, reason. Triangle coverage, meaning not only do you have to use uh, supreme anticipation, but you have to trust in your ability to fire a football in a closing zone. That triangle mm-hmm. coverage right there, he had to stick it on Waddle's chest, and it was an absolute diamond. Dime. And, and, and and again, how quickly the ball got to Waddle, I think it surprised Waddle too. Like, oh, shit. Yeah, <laughs> you feel yeah. me? Like, like it, it literally <laughs> bounced off his chest. It was perfect. And, and, and again, this is another example of what happens when you just trust in your ability. And, and Tua has been gaining that trust year after year after he's recovering from from that injury. So and let, and let's it, roll this it's, back it's a beautiful throw. Mm-hmm. Look at look at Okay. All right. I mean So I mean let's let's just do this, okay? Mhm. That's a 16-yard dart. Mhm. Like dart. 
in between triangle coverage. This isn't like, all right, let's check it down five yards. This is a 16-yard dart. If you look mm -hmm. at where he dropped back and where he threw it to where the ball was delivered, that's a 16-yard dart. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm sorry, Perfect weak arms can't do that. Weak arms exactly. cannot do that. You just, exactly. You, you just and, can't. And, and, and I, I, think, I think the arm strength has to be elevated considering the level of difficulty of this type of throw because he had to use pure anticipation. Because because put it like this, you have to have a proper pitch count as a, as a quarterback to know what type of throw you want to put on the football. And I'm telling you guys from experience, and Reason knows it as well, when it comes to just firing a football, you don't have as much accuracy and control as you should when, it, when you're laying a football yeah. in, into something. So for Tua to have straight, you know, flames coming out the back of that football, and it's still perfectly thrown. Watch his shoulder with drop when he fires it. Like you can mm -hmm. tell the mustard he's putting in. Watch his shoulder drop. Boom. That, and look, yeah, look, look yeah. at the mustard he's putting into that. And that thing yeah. is a, on the, like, oh my right god, in his chest. boom. Now, yeah, yeah. While Waddle catches that, he might, he might it mess around. He might crib it like like he did against the Patriots, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And even look at Waddle, he's like, damn. I can't believe I just that dropped was. that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he knows how money that was. All right. Mm -hmm. Here's a, a third down throw. Third and 13, actually. Dolphins mm -hmm. are in 11 personnel. Two in the gun. Edmonds to his left. It's cover three for the Lions. But they're going to drop into cover four with uh, Juju Hughes um, bailing back mm -hmm. at the, after the snap. And, brother... Woo! Another one. Surefield at the bottom of your screen on that deep curl. Boom! Right there. Another one. Underneath mm -hmm. hanging defender and a defender over top. And what's more impressive about this throw, not only is it a deferred down, but how many times was Tua bailing this staff out with these kind of throws in this game? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. it's a good game. Look at that. Boom! Mm -hmm. Just You got the hanging underneath linebacker. Um, That's, that's just off a of shade. That mm -hmm. he he just rifled it, man. He wasn't worried about that that linebacker coming underneath. He wasn't worried one minute. Look at that. You mm -hmm. see right there. You see. You understand the linebacker, the hanger right there, a little exactly. bit more on this angle. You know, you can see him creeping towards that side. E exactly. Too. He's exactly. reading the eyes. He's like, I know where you're going. And two is like, I'm trusting my arm. And exactly. Delivers an absolute dime. You really appreciate this throw more from the god view because you can watch that linebacker creep. Right here, mm -hmm. you can see him creep, 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 mm -hmm. and boom! Look at and Tua whew, just delivers a dime, Martin. And, and and it's 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 equally as impressive because as we see the linebacker drifting, Tua uses his signature eye manipulation where the linebacker stutters, yep. and then Tua still fires a a freaking dart right there, right there, yep. right there, stuttered and, him and, right there, and then boom. and he got him right yeah. there, yeah. So yeah. that I mean. That that's that that it's another throw where he just debunks the narrative of weak arm. That is, you can't have a weak arm to make that type of throw. Sorry, I agree. Shout out to Sean Diaz. It's his birthday. Hey, happy Appreciate birthday, you, brother! And let's hope the Dolphins bring home a nice birthday present for you this weekend, brother. A nice, mm -hmm. nice, a nice Texans butt whooping. <laughs> a, a, um, a, a, a Toro roast. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Um. Dolphins, this is when they got the ball to start the second half versus Chicago. This is that first drive. I'm pretty sure this mm -hmm. is the first play of that drive, too. And mm -hmm. it's uh, 21 personnel for Miami. You got two in the gun. You got Wilson to his right. You got two wide receivers stacked to the right. Um, it's cover three for Chicago. You're going to see Waddle motion. And Tua, he's going to hit Tyreek on that deep out for a big 22-yard gain. And another example of Oh, you got a knee mar weak arm and you're making that throw. Yeah. The, I mean, it's it's from the left hash to the right side line. You have to have ju just a – you have to have an NFL arm to make this type of throw and to do it confidently and in stride, perfect timing. Yeah. I mean, th this this is just th – this just lets you know he, he's, he has full confidence in himself again, you know, because before – not saying that he would hesitate to make this type of throw, but now that he has full dominion over his body again, you know what I mean? Yeah. He's stepping into damn near every throw like that, and, and it's it's money almost every time. So 
Hey, another one. <laughs> yeah, you look at him, just step into it, deliver it, nice on and, the rope, right? And, to and it's like it, it, it kind of looked effortless too, right? Like, it did, like, it did, yeah, yeah. and and it's still, it was, it was still just a. And people don't you even know, understand what you're talking about. How opposite hash to the opposite side of the field, like it's, it's a, a forty, it's a forty five yard throw. It's yeah, a 45 yeah. yard throw. Yeah, 40, 45 adds, yard throw. People, people don't realize the distance. Like the, they don't understand how those things add the distance onto the football. They don't they don't really like, you know, so, think that deeply about it. So and, and and basically from from sideline to sideline, it's a 53 and a half um uh yards, like 53 and a half yards. That's sideline to sideline in the NFL, right? Yeah. So when you're talking about hash to hash, if you do 50 yards, 50 yards, if you split middle of the field, that that's 25-25. But then you have to account for what the hash marks and the hash marks split apart is another what five yards in between. Yeah. So it's, it's it's I mean I I don't know man and then and then you still have to account for the yardage uh, uh, vertically that you have to I'm look it, it's it's math it's math people and the math is telling <laughs> us that Tua got an arm that's what the math is telling us Tua got an arm bro <laughs> that was the yeah. best little like like going on right there that was that was uh, awesome that was i'm just saying you can see it bro mm. <laughs> the math tells you Tua has an arm you know pretty what I mean? much i love it i love it <laughs> oh man that's amazing third and so this is uh, now another third down throw and i think there's only like there's under 50 seconds left in the half when this throw happened um and it is you know another example of third down Tua going to work so you got him in the gun with Moser to his right, one by three set eleven personnel. It's a cover four one three robber for the Browns on this play, and the throw on this out route to Waddle here. They need six yards. They get seven. This is one of his most impressive throws of the year. Look at this. No weak arm. Stop. <laughs> Who's trying to tell me that's a weak arm? Who is trying to tell me that is a weak arm? Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. it. <laughs> Come on, son. Come on, son. Like that Yo. is money in the bank, shorty. What you yeah. rank? The, and and the reason again why this is another exceptional throw debunks weak arm. The, and, and and reason if you can press pause like just before he makes that throw, right? Because yeah. you have to see right there, right? I got you. Hold on. He, yeah, go Hold on. go ahead. Right there. Look at where the defensive back is. Look at where Water is, and then look at where two has to make that throw. That defensive back, he could have went over Waddle's back. Oh, he's over top of him. Yeah, exactly. He could have. He could have. But because he's assuming through all the narratives that two has a weak arm, you know what? If he throws this out, I'm going to jump this. Yeah, he and, he, and, and as soon as he makes that decision, he just realized in oh, a fraction of a second, I oh, two no. got an arm. Two yeah. got an arm. <laughs> you feel me? And, yeah. and 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 he lost he lost the down he lost the matchup. Send him with and you ready? Tua, it, you ready? Huh? You ready? Hi, I'm a quarterback for the I'm a cornerback for the Cleveland Browns, <laughs> and you might be wondering how I got into this position. And it's exactly why you just look at this man. Now he's diving out, reaching out, and it's just what you said. You know, because I got that in my he nose. You could have just made over top. You just sit mm -hmm. on top of this play, and even because even if Waddle makes the play, you can keep him in front of the sticks. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and it's exactly what you said. He, this guy tried to. Uh, is it was it? J I think it was Jalen Johnson, wasn't it? Um, no, I this was um, New I think it was uh, Newsom, the the cornerback from Greg North Northwest. Yeah, it's not thirty three. It's not thirty three. So mm -hmm. yeah. So so Greg Newsom over here thinks that. Listen it's to sweet. all the narratives, thinking <laughs> I got this all day. I'm just gonna. You think it's sweet over here. This guy had perfect positioning, and he decides to go out of position to try and make a play. Like his name is Xavier Howard, and Tua says, "Oh, you're gonna play that game with me, Peep. Gotcha. Yes. Got him. Wow. Got, Got him. him. And then, and this this one shows you exactly the type of precision and arm talent it takes. Boom. Look at that. Cross the field again. Cross the Look field again. Look at that. Boom, on money. time Woo! in stride. That's Otis. That's What's Otis on too, time in stride. What's crazy mm -hmm. too, my friend, is when when you see him use the velocity, that anticipation, that accuracy don't go anywhere. It stays right there. Oh, I love it. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Um, all right, let's get into the whole Tua relies on yards after the catch narrative, which mm-hmm. we know, which we know is just unbelievable. Statistically, calls. <laughs> yeah, statistically, <laughs> I mean, statistically, he's one of the you know, I believe what was he 34th or 33rd in the NFL in terms of the percent he- number, the percentage of his uh yards that are after the catch. I mean, the guy, the he, guy outside the amount of starting quarterbacks in the NFL, there's only 30. Exactly. He doesn't even qualify for, for a top 32 ridiculous. yards after the catch percentage. So Ridiculous. Hey, it's all good. It's all good. And so now it's we're about good. to show you and we're about to kill another narrative because mm-hmm. that's what we do on Finn's mm-hmm. side, the NFL. So let's get into this. Um, we are going to start off with the Ravens game, two in the gun. Edmonds to his left, Dolphins and 21 personnel. You're going to see Ingold motion now wide. Um, and Ravens in cover two right there. Yep. Yeah. And look at that, mm-hmm. bro. Big boy throw from Tua here. I mean, and, and what, what I love about this too, okay, this is where we got to give our, we got to give our props here. We're going to give our props here. Let me roll this back. Let me roll this back. This is where I want to give the props here on this throw. Mm -hmm. Look what he does to Patrick Queen. Patrick Queen reads to his eyes and stretches out to make a play on the ball. But Tua just rifles it into Hill's chest. Yeah. He read that. But that ball is boom. Right, right, again, over a underneath hanging defender. And look at this. Let's see it again from this. He reads to his eyes. Look at him. Watch. He's reading. He reads. Okay, see the boom. Here you go. There you go. I mean, Where's again, the yak? I don't see it. It's just a major, major big-time chunk throw by Tua Tonga Baloa. And this could have also been in a category of debunking a weak arm. But I, I, I just wanted to highlight more specifically Tyreek Hill, who all assume you give him a five-yard hitch, he'll take it 70. But that's not necessarily the case. Yeah. He is he's putting the, the ball in Tyreek Hill's vicinity in, in chunk plays because he has that ability to do so. So this is just another one, man. Another one. And, he's, another you know, one. it's a great throw. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and, and it's, you know, the chunk plays, he's taking what he's, the defense is giving him, but even still then Patrick queen makes that a high level throw when you watch it from the God view. Right. Um, so dolphins now in 21 personnel, um, you got Ingold's the wing back to the left. Mozart is a single back to under center. Hill is going to motion from the left. Bills are going to roll into cover three. And it's almost like a levels concept. And look at that. Boom! Mm -hmm. Over the middle on the deep dig to Tyreek. Big completion. And this was actually his first completion since taking that Milano hit that knocked him out. Correct. So even more. But, you know, where's the yak? Where's the yak? Over the middle. Just a big play. And it's just, hey, where's the yak? Mm -hmm. Two is just getting the plays, man. That's it. He's making completions like an NFL quarterback is supposed to. A starting caliber quarterback. Is and he got Tyreek into space. Boom. Yes. I mean, he got mm-hmm. Tyreek into space, but Tyreek decided to go east-west instead of north-south. Which um, he's infamous for. <laughs> which is, yeah, but don't sit here and say everything is, you know, yak. Catch and run. Below, exactly. Right? So, two under center. You got 21 personnel. Edmonds is the single back. Two receivers to the right. Steelers are going to drop into cover two here. Waddle's going to motion. It's going to be a play action, and two is going to rifle in a strike to Tyreek on that cross over the middle field for that nice gain right there. Boom. Mm. Where's the yak? Where's the yak? Just another there nice chunk gain. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Right? And, and, again, and, and, again, and again, we're mm-hmm. showing you Tyreek to make a point. Right. This is to make a point. <laughs> that Tyreek was a gain all after the catch, you know? <laughs> Now, and, and, it's, and it's not it is not really to slight Tyree because everybody knows Tyreek with the ball in his hands is an, arguably a top five most explosive player with the ball in his hand on the planet. However, that's not the only reason why Tua is doing well. 
he's doing well with Tyreek Hill because two is doing well. You know what I mean? Tyreek Hill is doing well because two is doing well. Two is doing well because he has Tyreek Hill. It, it, it's a it's a it's a balancing act here. That, that, that's what we're trying to convey. Tua is making it happen just as much. So again, yards after the catch, not necessarily, but a big time throw and a big time game. Yes, that did happen. Yeah. And here's the the God view of it. Again, Beautiful time. Look at all open all day. All day. And it should have been a little bit of a horse collar there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> now, this, 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 is, this is one that's out there, <laughs> and I can't even believe it's out there. Um, one read quarterback. This is just unbelievable that this narrative is even out there. Tua, especially this year, Tua has been lightning quick rolling through the progressions it's been Mm -hmm. unbelievable he's been phenomenal to watch his head on a continuous swivel Mm -hmm. faking progressions in one read quarterback or people are things that they've tried to label him though it's unbelievable that we're even having to display this (laughs) we got no problem (laughs) killing this narrative too because all you got to do again the film never lies and it tells Pretty much the whole story. So we got Dolphins in an empty set with two in the gun, backed up in the end zone. Three receivers to his right, two to his left. Ravens in cover three post-snap here after they're initially going to give you that quarters look right there. And you got to give props to Waddle because he's going to run a, a an incredible route. It's Nasty a, route. It's basically mm-hmm. a stick, nod, or stutter go. And mm-hmm. hit the corner to bite. And I mean, look at, you know, we'll really see to his head on the God view here, but this is the play we're talking about. Look at Tua just rifles it in there, gives him a chance to make a play after, after the catch. And I, I love this play, man. I'm does. sorry. One of the, <laughs> I one love of the, this play. I love this play. Okay. Now mm-hmm. let's watch to his head right here. Focus on to his head right here. By the way, there's a great block by Alec Ingle on this play. It's absolutely the glue. Awesome. The glue. The glue. <laughs> so you're going to see this is a perfect example. Watch to his head. Watch the progressions. Let's count them. One, two, three. Mm-hmm. There you go. About four because he had a stutter. And there were two to that other side. So, yeah, he went about three or four progressions right there before he found Waddle. And, it, 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 I mean, right there, you watch his head. And, and and the reason why this is actually more impressive, look where the look where they are, ladies and gentlemen. Look where the ball is. Look at the situation that they're in. And Tua yeah. does what he does. He 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 pumps, he reads, he sees, he delivers. It, it's it's that simple. That was not a run that that was not a one read play. That was a multi-layered, okay. I gotta see what's going on over here, give it a slight yeah. pump. Uh Okay, Raheem Mostert, because we're at the back of the end zone. Is he open? Oh, wait. Waddle. Boom. Yep. Three, three, three read right there, man. Yep. Three, three read good. concept for him. Yep. What a play. Beautiful. What a play. And it was Beautiful. necessary. Mm-hmm. That was that was ridiculous. Mm-hmm. High um, level. High level, man. Um, all right. 11 personnel for the Dolphins. Uh, two in the gun. Edmonds to his left. Two wide receivers split right. Two stack to the left, cover six, four, two for Baltimore. And this is going to be one where you're going to see Cedric Wilson. Um, he's going to draw two defenders with his curl. And Gaseki here out of the slot is going to get passed off. Um, and Hill's going to draw a bracket at the goal line. And this is going to allow Gaseki just to come free at the back of the end zone. Um, a beautiful play design, but again, a multi read play from Tua and the right throw. Unbelievable dart for a touchdown. Mm. This, this was the first throw um, of the season I seen from Tua where I said to myself, oh, bleep, bleep, bleep. Yeah. Tua's here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. like for him to do that read and, and find his guy at the last second back of the end zone only where the receiver can get it. You have to understand how 
complex this this play is. And for the Ravens to only rush what one, two, three people, and Drop for Tua to just keep calm, he understands the situation. He's making his read right there. Oh, back in the end zone, and just come on, man, come on, man. You yeah. you have you have to give it to the kid, man. The, he 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 is doing what he's been taught to do. Fully he's doing reading, what he's been taught to do. Fully, fully reading, reading the field before he makes the throw, and mm-hmm. like you said, because he's reading it and rolling through his progressions properly, finds the back of the end zone when it opens up. And you got to give credit to the play design, like we mm-hmm. mentioned, opening up the back of the end zone there. Great stuff. Mm-hmm. Um. All right, now it's third and three here in the Lions game. Dolphins in the split back shotgun formation, 11 personnel, two by one receiver set. Um, it's a cloud three, one for the lines here. Most it's going to motion out to the left and two is going to roll through all his progression, anticipate Gusecki's corner coming free at the second level. And he's going to deliver that strike there. And this would be the eventual game winning touchdown as this would put them up 31 to 27. But right here, you're going to see, keeps his head on the swivel, starts mm-hmm. his progression with Sherfield on the right, and he's going to work his way all the way back to Gusecki for the throw. You're going to see right here. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Third read. Love it. And, and, Love it. and hopefully, hopefully we do not have the ops on, on, on your channel at this moment because I'm about to deliver a major key. All of these throws, by the way, when it comes to Tua's multi-read concept throws, they are either backed up on their own goal line or they are in the red or goal line situation to score a touchdown. That's when Mike McDaniel unleashes the multi-read offense because he needs to either get out of tough situations with your back against the goal line or he needs to score right now. This offense is literally wired for them to make big plays when it comes to that situation in, in football. Mm. And to adjust, he he's being he's doing what he's being taught to do. Read all three levels quickly. Beautiful, Beautiful minus the gritty. And another one <laughs> we keep hearing is just some ridiculous stuff. And I can't believe that this is even going on right now. It's about how Tua can't throw deep. And what people need to realize, it hasn't been more so about arm when he's under thrown, guys. It's been more so about touch and putting a little too much arc under the football. Um, but that, but that's a narrative that, that that's just not true. Tua can throw deep. We've seen him throw deep. And we've seen him deliver dimes when he throws deep. Mm-hmm. And, and we're going to show, you know, some people seem to get amnesia. So let's take him back to that Buffalo game. Amnesia. <laughs> After mm. a Chase Edmonds run that went nowhere, it's now third and 22 right here. Two in the gun with Moser to his right, 11 personnel for Miami. It's a cover two man f- look for Buffalo. And this is an absolute dime here from Tua. Waddle is going to get released inside and split the deep defenders with his post route. And two is going to drop it in the bucket for a huge third down conversion and the biggest throw of the game from either team, don't matter whether it was Tua or Josh Allen. This was the mm-hmm. biggest throw of the game. And Josh Allen had 93 offensive snaps to make this kind of throw. And, you know, <laughs> two and two, it didn't. And this would actually lead to the eventual go ahead and game winning touchdown. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. then we'll, we'll, we'll throw on the, uh, when we get to the God view, you'll see how he was moving his head with, you know, he was moving defenders with his progressions. When you watch, uh, exactly. when, you, when you watch this, he was moving defenders off the football, great stuff here from Tua Tungvaloa. Look at how he moved those defenders. Like, unbelievable. He moved that safety back there. So, mm-hmm. great mm-hmm. stuff from Tua here. I mean, what more can you say? What more can I say? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, <laughs> what, <laughs> uh, yeah, like, hey. what else can you say? The only thing I can say about this is that there's, multi, there's multiple things happening here. Like you just mentioned, First of all, Tua's eyes are as lethal as Uma Thurman and Kill Bill, oh. and, and and nobody really wants to to get caught up in Tua's eye manipulation, but they do because naturally defenses try to read quarterbacks, and Tua knows that, and he used his eyes to open up even a greater window where people say people are running wide open. That's because Tua is using his innate 
ability to maneuver defenders away from spots where he will eventually throw the football. And lo and behold, it's a deep shot. And also, lo and behold, it's money right in stride. Perfect. So, yeah, man, an- another another one where, you know, 50-yard toss easily in the bucket, first down, led, led to the touchdown, game over. Dolphins. So, so this is another great deep throw with placement and anticipation here. You got mm-hmm. two in the gun, Moser to his right, 11 personnel, two by two set. Steelers are in t- cover two off. And two is going to drop an absolute dime in the bucket to Sherfield on the post route. I mean, it's just great anticipation. It's just look at that. Oh, uh, it's just with 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 the defender running almost stride for stride with Sherfield. Right. Like right. no no problem. And the defender didn't even know how to attack it. Do I go underneath? Do I go over top? You know, he didn't even know. And he settled for going over top and just taking the tackle because the throw was too good. Um, mm-hmm. you know, now maybe it, when he was running with him, he would have turned his back, he would have stayed underneath. But even mm-hmm. so then we've seen that story where Tua still puts it then on the money. So good throw by and, here. And and I and I truly believe that the Dolphins saw something on film that the Steelers were doing because they ran this type of play concept multiple times in this game. And for whatever reason, Tua couldn't hit on it. But this was the one where Tua found it, he be- he trusted it, he believed it in, in the in the in the throw. And it was just a just a natural lob over the middle, perfectly in stride. I mean, four, 40 yard toss, easy. And and and, and real, real, real quick reason, I also want to say, man, about Trent Sherfield. Mm-hmm. He gives me Jarvis Landry vibes as far as his reliability. Yeah. You know what I mean? And and now that you add a Jalen Waddle to the mix, Tyreek Hill, obviously. Our three punch at wide receiver, excluding Mike Gesicki as the tight end, but our three punch right there is as good as a three punch you can have in the league at this moment, mm-hmm. based off of what they all do as 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 individually, you know, as far as their specialties. You know what I mean? Like it's it's a good group we have, man. And shout out to Wes Welker for getting the most out of everybody in that bro. I agree. Yep. All right. So now we're flipping over to the Bears game. It's third and six on this play. You got two in the gun. You got Moser to his left, 11 personnel, one by three set. Um, Hill's going to motion and turn the trips right into a trips bunch set. Um, you're going to have cover two for Chicago, who is shifting to a robber coverage. And you're just going to see two is going to be patient here in the pocket. And he's going to drop a beautiful teardrop to Hill on his delayed wheel route here. Boom, right there for rainbow yard gain inside mm-hmm. the Bears red zone. And I think mm-hmm. I mentioned it last time, but, you know, every time I watch this play, it, it just, I love the play design here as Sherfield's dig, you know, takes that defender away and draws the safety up as well as, you know, you see Gusecki basically going to pick as he stems the pivot route. And this is going to allow that, you know, Hill to come that free, free release. Player. Yeah. And mm-hmm. I, I love the throw there by Tua. And who tells you can't, you can't throw deep. Come on. Perfect. It's it. And, and 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 again, Tua has yet to really get like a real, real opportunity to to catch like a real deep shot, like like as far as for like a sixty yard down the field, because NFL defenses rarely give you that shot. But as far as the the opportunities that Tua has had, for the most part, Tua has made these throws, and and he's and he's been consistent with them. And and, and well, again, again, you know, statistically, mm-hmm. he's one of the most accurate quarterbacks. On throws past twenty yards, right? Yes, yes, and, and 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 the best part about all this is, you know, he's still. This is still the, what his his eighth game. You know what I mean? Going into his ninth game of this season, where he has targets that he actually trusts and believe in. So there's still room to grow and catch up and develop. And I, I can't wait to see what what's what's uh, what, what they have in store for us, man. You know? Yeah. All right, here we go. Final one here. Tua can't throw guys open. Interesting. We've heard, we, we've heard this for quite some time too, right? You know, we mm-hmm. heard it last year really heavily. Some people are trying to say Tua can't throw these guys open. And, you know, all these guys are just getting open themselves. You know, you know the scheme's just separating the guys from them. Well, here we are. we got five plays to show you that that ain't true by any stretch of the imagination because Tua's been mm-hmm. consistently – 
throwing guys open this season. Let's go all the way back to week one here. Patriots are in cover one man. Dolphins in 11 personnel with two wide receivers to the right, one to the left. Tua in the gun with Mostert to his right. And Tua, he is going to deliver an absolute dime in stride to Waddle on the slant for the house call. Remember, we had been waiting for this play for a year, for two years. Mm -hmm. And Mm -hmm. especially when you look at the God view here, this is all Tua throwing him open right into stride. I mean, everyone do the Waddle. This is mm-hmm. a perfect example of Tua throwing a guy open in the coverage to just take mm-hmm. it and go. And he split the coverage. Tua threw him so open he split the coverage with the throw. Exactly. <laughs> they they weren't they weren't expecting him to anticipate that well. And, and when you when you play this, just pause it when he's about to release it right there. Like if you if you understand, man, the ball has already left his hand. The DB is still hugging Jalen Waddle's back. And look at where the ball is headed towards. That's all anticipation. And that's all, let me throw this guy into that vicinity so he can use what God gave him as his pure speed and split those two defenders and get, get that play for us on fourth down before the half. Huge play. Huge Talk play by Tua. Shaw makes a good point. He does throw to wide receiver safety too. Like I've noticed, you know, he he, he doesn't open. He doesn't can open guys. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. He protects he tries, his players. Yeah, he protects his players. I agree. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Dolphins and eleven personnel here. Two in the gun with Moser to his left. Inside stack to the right with a wide receiver split out wide to that side and one to the left. Ravens are going to show cover six two four even with the motion, but are going to roll into a cover three buzz look. Um, and again, two is going to throw an absolute dime over the middle of the field, um, right into tight coverage to get Seki on the slant for that first down. Look at that! He come on, man! He's throwing guys open keyhole accuracy. Keyhole he's showing up early keyhole. here, and he's throwing them open again. Let's look. Let's, let's we'll do it. I mean, I mean. He ain't open right now. I'll tell you that. <laughs> and, and he's got and defenders over top, and two is still through him underneath. The, that, 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 that defender was draped all over Mike Gesicki and Tua. I mean, if, if you look at it, man, there's he's no the way. Ball, he's not open. He's released it, the ball. He's not open. I mean, and, and the key, like you said, keyhole accuracy to put it way. only where Mike Gesicki can get it and protect himself. That's the key to all this, man. Two, 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 two is. Look, man, get get this guy, get this guy his his congratulations. When you have what, when you have film like this, and you cl- you can clearly see that he's doing things, yeah. man. Yeah. Just 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 applaud him, man. Why not? Two two years you've been booing him. Yeah. Why why not give it to him? Give him know? his flowers when he earns them, man. Right. So- this is an, an unreal throw right here. Two in the gun with Moser to his left, 12 personnel, two receivers to the left with Hill motioning from there to the right. Cover three for Detroit. Two is going to throw Hill open off the motion on the wheel up the left sideline with perfect touch and anticipation over the outstretched defenders. Just a mm-hmm. beautiful, beautiful throw. Again, throwing his guy open, man, like Otis. right over the outstretch. Look at that. Come on. Otis. Come on. On time, in stride. Yep. Woo! Perfect placement. Perfect placement. And and, and again, ah, he, he just boom right there. And 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 the reason why this this is such a good throw, um, Tua Tua has and I, and you you told me this reason, um, Josh um Josh McCown, you know he he was breaking yeah. down Tua's film too. Yeah, I sent you that. And yeah. he and he and he he basically said that what. He what he saw in his former teammate in Kurt Warner is what he sees in Tua, meaning he just knows that there's certain places and areas on the field where he can fit footballs. And Tua has that innate ability yeah. to not only throw to his receivers in those spots, but to throw it away from defensive players that are in that vicinity to only where the receiver can make that catch. And you see both DBs going all out to deflect that football and it just doesn't happen because Tua has pretty much perfected that, that concept as a quarterback, man. And it, I love it. it. It just flows. It flows naturally. Like water. Did you say Kurt Warner? Did you say Kurt Warner? <laughs> 1999 Kurt Warner. 
<laughs> yeah, I believe it. One um, nine, nine, nine. <laughs> first and 15 from the Dolphins, 20, because this is after a penalty, I'm pretty sure. Two is in mm-hmm. the gun, empty backfield, two by two, set, two receivers split to the left, two stacked to the right. Um, It's a cover two for the Bears. They're going to slide into Tampa two, though. And this is a great, great throw here. Tua reads the defense, anticipates, and you see the game is slowing down for him as he's going to quickly ID Hill on the corner route, right into the soft spot of the coverage outside Mm. the numbers. Correct read, correct throw on this play. And, I mean, Martin. Yeah. Yeah. This is Placement. You're seeing it. You're seeing Mm -hmm. a light is officially on. The room is bright. And he threw him right to the spot. Exactly. Even with a defender exactly. underneath again. That that's that's exactly how you throw a receiver open. And if you go back to that field view one more time, and and, and pause it just before Tua throws the football, right? Because you're going to really see how crazy of a throw this is. It's starting to wind up right We're, now. Look 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 at look at where Tyreek Hill is is supposed to be going. Just look release. at the defenders. Another triangle coverage where he has to really use anticipation on this throw. And not only does he fit it past that cornerback, but just under that safety. And, and you can't go too mm-hmm. far towards that sideline because of that corner over top of Gasicki. He could break on that sideline. Exactly. Easy, right? Like, you look exactly. at that, man. Damn. Right it's, there. Just, it's just – that, that's how you throw a receiver open in that Beautiful. in that particular situation. Beautiful yes. stuff, man. Absolutely mm-hmm. love it. You know, you see it every throwing guys open, reading defenses, anticipating the game slowing down. Boom. All look at that, man. All in one mm-hmm. play right there. All in one play. I absolutely love it. Um, all right. So uh, this is this was point. a crazy throw. <laughs> I think it's tw- it's twenty eight twenty five at this point, and it's first and ten for Miami here. Um, you got two under center, twenty one personnel. Ingold's going to motion into the backfield, make it an eye formation, one by one set. Bears are in cover three. They're going to roll to a single high shell. And two is going to drop an absolute dime to Waddle on the deep crosser. He can't complete the reception by holding it in, but this should have been a 20-yard gain. The absolute confidence oozing out of every two with throw right now, bro. It's, is you know, you, you see evident. it. And mm-hmm. should have, shouldn't have made this catch. This was a dime, bro. This is this is one of those throws where, like we said, throw, this is to debunk him throwing receivers open, right? Um, the margin of error that you all are going to see on this guy view for him to fit that football in that space, <laughs> for him to fit that football in that space, just let you know, okay, he, he got it like that. He got it like that. And, and again, that, uh, that defender, the linebacker in particular that broke up the play at the end of the play, right? He is literally on Tyreek's hip when that ball arrived. And the reason why that ball had to be in that location was because of that cornerback in the flat route right there yeah, yeah. guarding the, the other player. He, For you to put that in that area, that space at that moment in time, come on, man, that, that's, that's as good as it gets when it comes to, you know, placement and, and, and precision. And, again, I – I don't know, man. It's it, it becomes it becomes more and more obvious, man. That you know, two two is getting it. Two two is two is, two is breaking through, and, and it's gonna it's gonna come to a, a crescendo, I believe, within the next couple months, probably within the next month, I would say, yeah. to where we're going we're going to say without a shadow of a doubt that um you know two is here to stay, and and, and I hope he never breaks. Uh, stride and, and maintains that chip on his shoulder, man, because he's playing with it right now. You can see it. So let's end this off with a touchdown here. It's second and two. Um, Tua just keeps dropping dimes here against the Browns. Mm-hmm. And this is one of his best touchdown throws of the year, probably. He got him in the gun, empty backfield. Gusecki motions to the right, makes it a two by three set right there. Cover two for the Browns. And Tua is going to throw the pay, fade perfectly to the back of the left end zone. And Sherfield throws him open mm. to the back left of the end zone for the touchdown. And this, at this point, put Miami up 17-7 against the Browns. 
absolutely beautiful throw. Threw him right open, right in the face mask. It, it, and and I will say this, man, and you can see it on, on the field view. Right before Tool makes, you know, right before the ball leaves to his hand, look at the defensive player and look at the look at the intended target. Who who is open right now? Nobody. No one. <laughs> Nobody's no open. One. Nobody. No one nobody on this play is wide ass open. Meaning kinds. The only one that is open in Tua's mind is the player that he's throwing to right now. But he's not open yet. He's going to throw and, him know, open. And you know why he's throwing him open, guys? Too. Look at that defender compared to everyone else. That defender. His hips are open to the inside of the field. He's got to turn mm-hmm. his body around. He knows I've got him in a. I've got him in a. I mean, look at everyone. Everyone. He's out of is, position. Everyone. Yeah. Out of position. Out of, everyone else is sitting over top of their routes firmly. He's the only one that looks like he's a little out of position. And Tuba spotted no sure fields open after spotting mm-hmm. it. IDs it, sees mm-hmm. it, anticipates it, and throws a freaking dime and. I mean, look at that. I mean, but you also got to stress of what Martin just said. I want people, I'm going to pause it again. Martin made the best point of this throw. Who's open when two is throwing that football? No one. But we just explained to you why he's making that throw. He sees a defender out of position. He, and he just like Martin said, he's anticipating that fade, opening him up with that defender out of that defender's got his back to the fade, right? And, mm-hmm. and, and it, it's not good. He's got his back to the fade, but he's got, you know, his body towards the inside of the field. So Mm -hmm. great anticipation and Tua throws him open. Cause like Martin said, there was no one open when Tua started to release that football. So, and that ended up for six and that was a Mm -hmm. beautiful throw. That was a, (laughs) that's a sports center throw right there. Okay. Look at that. With Chris Berman at the helm. Crowd loves. Oh man. Look at that. So Look deep. at that, and 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 I and I tell y'all what, man, I haven't seen and and, and you know just just as a uh, you know just just as a, a explanation right here, we we just went over twenty throws right, but when Reason came came to me with this concept and and, and he and he charted out what what I've seen, um, I I went through the every every game and purely for what we were trying to hit on. I charted over 45 throws that Tua made this year yep. that I said was worthy to be on this uh, uh, breakdown today, tonight. And we had to narrow it down. And I have not seen more dimes dropped by Tua since the Flavor of Love season one <laughs> on VH1. It, 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 it has, it has, it has the, I, it has the making of that Kurt Warner season back in 1999. Yeah. It has the making of, you know, uh, Drew Brees first year in New Orleans 06, where mm-hmm. you're like, whoa, yeah. whoa, where did this come from? Yeah. So, so I'm telling, I'm telling y'all right now, um, as much as we want to um, hesitate, you know, almost double dutch, like when, when should I jump in? When should I jump in? I'm trying to tell y'all right now, man, it, it makes the most sense to just believe in your team. It makes the most sense to believe in your quarterback. And it makes and the most winning. sense Why to just say. And, 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 and he hasn't shown us we're otherwise winning, not to believe. Up, we're winning, and this guy's not even putting up top five. He's putting up top three in all these major statistical categories. Yeah. He's missed three games, and he's had a bye. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's uh it's it's becoming more and more obvious who the real MVP is. You know what I mean? But yeah. at the same time, man, um, th- it was it was um pleasantly shocking to go over to his film. Oh you know, you, you know, this guy, uh, this mm-hmm. guy's got so many dimes. I might start calling him pimp into a tongue of a lower. Man. <laughs> All right. Should play a player hater ball too. <laughs> yeah, I know. He's a he's a pimp of a passer because he throws nothing but dimes, baby. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know what to Let say. Let me tell you, man. Let me tell you, man. And 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 again, I, I I love I love the fact that um to a still, you know, he still has his head down. Yeah. He still doesn't believe that he he's really 
gotten to that level because we we saw we saw the um you know the mic'd up Mike McDaniel took him to the side. He wanted to let, allow Tua to understand. Tua, you're playing very good football right now, yeah. and Tua is still like ah ah. Let, let's let's just keep chopping the wood. You know what I mean? He knows. He knows it. He, it, it he knows. It's it's real. But mm-hmm. year two, this you know how scary this offense is going to be in year two. Because they're going to have a full off season of the same thing to refine yeah. oh. and to craft. Yes, and I, and I'm expecting big things from this offense coming out of this buy because of what you just said. Refine, add wrinkles. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? They're going to mm-hmm. have more. They're going to have a lot of film on their opponents coming out of this buy that they can study. And you know, Mike McDaniel is a big time film guy, so. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I, I expect a lot. Of, I expect us to be really scary offensively coming out Absolutely. of the Absolutely. And again, year two, boy, year two is what – because you know what? You look at all the names we might lose this offseason, big names, Ogba, Byron mm-hmm. Jones, Lincoln. Mm-hmm. I mean – if we if we trade Cedric Wilson to get out of the money, is that really a loss to this offense right now? Well, you know, maybe Gesicki. Yeah, yeah, but Gesicki. Like, let's be honest. You know, we were giving props on, on some throws there for guys making contested catches or not making contested catches. Gesicki's one of those guys. You're supposed to be a top five, top ten tight end, but you make zero contested catches in the end zone. I mean, mm-hmm. I think Eric Tom is going to end up being a better red zone mm. and Mike Gesicki. We've heard and Eric. We and completely forgot year. about Easy because E. Because they don't need him. Because they're not even, bro, wow. you know, they're not even rushing him because they don't need him right now. Just keep wow. refining him. They're good, buddy. They're gonna keep refining that guy's road tree next year. He's gonna be phenomenal. Watch. They're gonna have him ready next this year. This is good. Yeah, watch. yeah, yeah. This is this is wow. Yeah. So year one. Year, year one, one, man. Year one, man. We still got another year, and the narratives are just gonna get kicked. Chopped away, chopped away, chopped away. Trust me, it's coming. It's coming. We see it. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, guys. We're going to get out of here. I'm going to be back tomorrow night with Richmond Webb, Mr. Ball Game, the finish line. It's time to get into Texans week. So we'll have a show tomorrow night. We'll be getting into it, and then I'll be live Friday to preview the Texans-Dolphins game. Then I will be live on Sunday for a live reaction and then a post-game show for the Texans and the Dolphins. We appreciate each and every one of you tuning in. Martin, always a blessing doing it. I love, you know, uh, you know, we do it like no one else, man. So it was great to come out appreciate here and kill some narratives, man. Um, always, always, always great stuff. And Rick says with the 32nd pick of the 2023 draft, the Miami Dolphins select Bijan Robinson, running back, Texas. We don't even have a first round pick, so unless you trade right. back into the yeah, first round and, and snag and I, that type of player, right? And I think I think he'll be gone. I think I I think he could has he has potential to be a top fifteen pick. Anyways, we're mm. gonna get out of here and don't sleep on Jamar Gibbs. We're gonna get out of here and Zach mm. Charbonnet and all those guys. We're gonna mm. get out of here. Appreciate y'all. It's a deep running back class. See y'all tomorrow night at eight o'clock. <laughs>